CD one. Track one. One. Request taxi for departure to Montreal. Two. What is the condition of your injured passenger? Three. What can you see on the runway? Four. Report level. Five. Report the extent of your damage. Six. If you're going around, climb straight ahead to two thousand five hundred feet and contact the tower on one one nine decimal seven five. Seven. What is the situation in the cabin now with the hijackers? Eight. How much assistance will you require on landing? Nine. Request IOS approach runway two eight right. Ten. Say how much your maneuverability is affected. Track two, one. Delta three five seven, descent to altitude nine a thousand feet. Q and H one zero one seven. Descent to altitude five thousand feet. Delta three five seven. Two. Varig two eight nine at tower reporting a large damage near the threshold of runway two three right. Three. Regional two eight eight. Our previous arrival is one nine five seven. Four. Northwest one seven six three. Taxi into position and hold runway eight. Five. KLM four eight zero five. We are now at takeoff. Six. I think we have a problem with our well. Malif six zero two. Track three, one. We must depart by twenty three hundred, or we'll be into quite hours. Two. The first officer found a loose engine cowling during a walk around inspection. Three. The flight control services require de-icing before we depart. Four. We have a well that needs changing on the right main gear. Five. There is quite a lot of traffic in the terminal area. Six. Visibility two thousand five hundred meters. Light rain showers. Overcast one thousand three hundred feet. Temperature one one dew point one one. Seven. There is a ridge of hills rising to one thousand eight hundred and fifty meters to the east of the field. Eight. The purser has asked for some more ice and soft drinks. Nine. I am watching the incoming traffic on my screen. Ten. An intoxicated passenger has hit one of the cabin attendants. Track four, one. The fog seems to be lifting, and departure should be able to resume in two zero minutes. Two. Use the instinctive disconnect push button on the yoke. Three. The catering services have finished loading the trolleys. Four. Cleared for immediate takeoff. Five. We are turning left onto heading one three zero degrees. Six. Push that key to clear the screen. Seven. The weather is、uh, improving slowly. Eight. We've checked the new data we entered. Nine. The autopilot and auto thrust have disconnected. Ten. We've reduced our speed to one six zero knots. Track five. One. Descent to flight level one three zero. Two. Give way to the seven six seven from right to left. Three. Dragon Air four seven five squawk six seven two two. Four. Expedite climb until passing level one seven zero. Five. Runway two eight cleared to land.
6. Orbit right from present position. 7. Reduce to minimum approach speed. 8. Taxi to holding point runway 17. Track 6. 1. Aeroflot 238, clear to land runway 26 right, wind 220 degrees 6 knots. 2. Gulf Air 4752, turn left heading 290, intercept ILS 26 left. Turn left heading 250, intercept ILS 26 left, Gulf Air 4752. 3. Silk Air 39025, runway 21 right, QNH 987, hectopastel. 4. A Madagascar 376, descend to flight level 160, cross hab sign above flight level 180. Descend to level 160, cross hab sign below level 180, A Madagascar 376. Five. China Eastern 469, contact ground 124 decimal 365. Contacting ground 123 decimal 465, China Eastern 469. 6. Taka 559 across runway 17 left, report vacating. 7. Air France 3784, line up runway 08 left, intersection Delta 1, behind a Boeing 737, intersection Delta 2. 8. Turk Air 575, join downwind runway 21 right. Wind 190 degrees, 6 knots, QNH 1017. Track 7. 1. Egypt Air 581. Go round immediately. Vehicle on runway. 2. Air Sofia 442, request emergency services standing by. 3. Vietnam Airlines 365, hold short of runway 19 left. 4. Slovakia 083, give way to the 747 to your right. 5. Shenzhen Air 638, clear to land runway 29 right. 6. Speedbird 5631, you are advised that current RVR is 400 meters. 7. Land 284, climb to flight level 260. 8. We have to wait for another aircraft to vacate our stand. Track 8. 1. Commence descent now to maintain a 3 degree glide path. 2. Are you ready for immediate departure? 3. Please have an ambulance standing by. 4. A 320 requesting tow from taxiway Mike to apron. 5. Which engine has failed? 6. Giving way to Qantas A380. 7. A departing Boeing 777 reported wind shear at 600 feet. 8. Seems to be some metal debris 400 meters from the threshold of runway 19er. 9. Runway vacated. 10. Do you have visual contact on preceding traffic? 11. Backtrack runway 25 left. Line up and wait. 12. Why are you stopped? Track 9. 1. We're on 310. 2. There's some trouble in the cabin. 3. We can see some lights. 4. The altimeter shows 998. 5. The visibility has deteriorated. 6. We've got a full cabin today.
Seven. Climb to three thousand. Eight. We need some more time. Nine. We are a bit delayed. Ten. There is something ahead of us on the taxiway. Track ten. One. On approach, after an in-flight turnback, you are just over your maximum landing weight. Two. The cabin crew have reported smoke in one of the aft toilets. Three. You have twenty-five minutes fuel endurance and are in a holding pattern. Four. There has been a heavy snowstorm and snowplows are currently clearing the runway in use. Five. An Icelandic volcano is in eruption and North Atlantic routes over sixty degrees north have been closed to traffic. Six. A Fokker fifty is blocking taxiway Delta Tree. Seven. Heavy rain and standing water have reduced braking action to poor. Eight. You are not sure if your nose gear is down and locked. Nine. An A three eighty is taking off from runway two eight right ahead of an MD ninety. Ten. You are not sure of your position and gate number after landing. Track eleven, one, IRS, two, ETA, three, EFIS, four, ACC, five, INS, six, ASI, seven. IAS. Eight. OAT. Nine. AAL. Ten. ACARS. Track twelve. One. There seems to be an airport van parked on the side of the taxiway, about four hundred meters ahead. It looks like they are working on the lighting. Can you instruct them to clear the taxiway, please? Two. There seems to be an airport van parked on the side of the taxiway, about four hundred meters ahead. It looks like they're working on the lighting. Can you instruct them to clear the taxiway, please? Three. There seems to be an airport van parked on the side of the taxiway, about four hundred meters ahead. It looks like they are working on the lighting. Can you instruct them to clear the taxiway, please? Four. There seems to be an airport van parked on the side of the taxiway, about a four hundred meters ahead. It looks like they are working on the lighting. Can you instruct them to clear the taxiway, please? Five. There seems to be an airport van parked on the side of the taxiway, about four hundred meters ahead. It looks like they're working on the lighting. Can you instruct them to clear the taxiway, please? Six. There seems to be an airport van parked on the side of the taxiway, about four hundred meters ahead. It looks like they are working on the lighting. Can you instruct them to clear the taxiway, please? Track thirteen. One. Request taxiway echo. Two. Advise the type of traffic ahead of us. Three. Request flight level seven zero over Richmond VOR. Four. Request direct bearing Kia. Five. Request an earlier slot. Six. We'd like to divert to Calgary. Seven. Request higher. Eight. Ready to push from stand tree eight. Nine. Have you got an earlier slot? Ten. We'll be requesting startup in about ten minutes.
Track 14. 1. Adjust speed to cross Bologna at 2.8. 2. Vacate runway by first high speed turnoff. 3. Expedite departure. 4. Climb and maintain flight level 370. 5. Reduce speed by 30 knots for spacing. 6. Are you able to increase your rate of descent? 7. Behind the landing 737. Line up. 8. Expect ILS approach runway 13 right. 9. Report traffic in sight. 10. Continue descent to 2,000 feet. Track 15. 1. Negative. Taxiway closed. 2. Hold short of the runway. 3. Take first right. 4. You should be moving along taxiway Alpha. 5. You can use the same taxiway to reach both runways. 6. Line up and wait. 7. Hold position. We are operating under cut tree conditions. 8. You have reached the end of the taxiway. Track 16. 1. The longest runway is 01 left, 19 right. 2. Runway 09 27 intersects runway 01 left, 19 right. 3. You can enter runway 19 left from taxiway Alpha 2. 4. The control tower is 1,233 feet high. 5. The intersection of runway 01 right, 19 left, and taxiways Delta and Charlie is a hotspot. 6. Four gates cannot be seen from the control tower. 7. Runways 01, 19 left and right are the same length. 8. If you land on runway 27, you can exit via taxiway Charlie 8. Track 17. 1. Taxi to holding position Bravo 2, hold short runway 28. 2. Thai Boeing 747, request tow from stand Bravo 38 to maintenance center. 3. Reset squawk ident 3417. 4. Expedite crossing runway 25, traffic 3 miles final. 5. Taxi to holding position Delta 3 via Alpha and Charlie. Hold short of runway 32. 6. We are unable to push back at this time. One of our passengers is a no-show and we have to unload his baggage. We will call back as soon as we are ready. 7. There is a Boeing 787 blocking taxiway November. Departures are delayed. Expect startup approval at 3.5. 8. Cross runway 21. Report vacated. 9. Austrian 371, runway 14 right, cleared for takeoff. 10. After departure, climb on runway heading to 1,500 feet. Turn right heading 240. 11. Reporting ice patches and drifting snow on taxiway Lima, Cathy 725. 12. Aeroflot 593, taxi slower, ice patches and drifting snow reported on taxiway Lima. Track 18. 1. 1, 2, 4, decimal 325 megahertz. 
two one zero zero nine hectopascal three part number four six seven two nine one seven eight echo four two four five degrees five condor one four three eight six three hundred and twelve knots seven one thousand and two hundred feet per minute eight max zero point seven nine nine three degree slope ten two nine decimal nine eight inches of mercury eleven one hundred and nine tons twelve ETD seventeen fifty eight Track nineteen one Austral two eight three expect departure at one five start up at your discretion two Runway two five left vacated Lufthansa two seven three Avianca three five seven slot time four five four Taxi straight ahead, then second right on Taxiway Juliet to gate Foxtrot 14. 5. There is a 767 bog down off near the holding point of runway 17. 6. Bravo Hotel Quebec, stand 18 via taxiway, Mike. 7. Caution, fill spillage near American 757. 8. Request start up at 25, Thai 607. 9. There is an A320 on our stand, gate 39. -er. 10. China Eastern 295, taxi to Sierra 15 via taxiway Lima. Track 20. 1. Taxi with caution as the airport is very congested. 2. Boarding is almost completed. We should be ready to push back in five minutes. 3. The ground crews are working very hard to make sure we get away on time. 4. Some of the passengers were late arriving at the gate. We'll need a little more time. 5. We have just closed the doors and are ready to depart. 6. When the servicing truck reversed into the right-hand engine, it severely damaged the cowling. 7. There is only one container waiting to be loaded. 8. Can you vacate your stand as soon as possible? Track 21. 1. ILS 2. QFE 3. UTC 4. ETD 5. NDB 6. ATD 7. VOR 8. RVR 9. VHF 10. ATC 11. GPU 12. FOD Track 22. 1. Tie 236, gate 24, request startup for New Delhi. 2. Croatia 792, gate 28, request start up. We're bound for Zagreb. 3. Austrian 517, gate 21, request start up for Frankfurt. 4. Ground Air Berlin 209, gate 26, request engine start for Warsaw.
5. Scandinavian 651, gate 25, request startup for Bergen. 6. Ice Air 432, gate 22, request startup. Our destination is Luxembourg. 7. China Southern 569, gate 27, request startup for Shanghai. 8. Japan Air 773, gate 23, request startup for Tokyo. Track 23. 1. The departure has been delayed while the aircraft is being de iced. 2. The incoming aircraft had a tyre blowout during a rather hard landing with maximum braking, and the engineers are changing it now. 3. We are waiting for a disabled passenger to be brought by minibus. We'll be ready for pushback as soon as she arrives. 4. Weather conditions are good this evening, and all flights have been leaving on schedule. 5. The tug has arrived at last, and the tow bar is being connected now. 6. Traffic is very light this morning, and weather conditions are good. There are two controllers on duty in the tower. 7. Taxi with caution at the intersection of Golf and Kilo. Firemen are carrying out exercises in the vicinity. 8. There are just two more ULDs to be loaded in the forward hold. As soon as the cargo doors are closed, we'll be able to get underway. Track 24. 1. We cannot push back yet due to an obstacle on the inner taxiway. There seems to be a green servicing truck parked in the way. We need to push back straight away. 2. Turk Air 288. Gate 37 requests a new slot. Maintenance discovered the warrant tire. Expect to be ready for pushback soon. 3. Argentina 356. Stand 17. Unable to make our 55 slot. Baggage handling made a mistake and delivered the wrong containers. We're still waiting for them to unload them. We'll be considerably delayed. 4. The tug has broken down. It shouldn't take too long. We'll call you back when ready. 5. Gulf Air 758 at Stand Bravo 19er. We have one, two packs missing. They were sent to Delta 19er, hoping to board them quickly and push back in time for our 2 5 slot. 6. Our APU is in knob. Request GPU. Can you bring one expeditiously? 7. Our wingtip is slightly dented and the right hand navigation light cover broken. The roof of the catering vehicle has a large tear. We have contacted engineering and requested a technician, and will probably require a change of aircraft. We'll keep you fully advised. 8. The Agnes docking system was unserviceable, and we stopped and shut down engines before the line. We are incorrectly positioned for the air bridge. 9. There is currently a large spillage. The fuel tanker is still in position under the right-hand wing. They lost about 300 litres of fuel. I estimate our delay at approximately 3-0 minutes. 10. Taxiway November is now closed due to a 757 bogged down on the grass. Taxi with caution. Track 25. 1. Safely. 2. Completed. 3. Failed. 4. Stronger. 5. Missing. 6. Spilled. 7. Slightly. 8. Differences. 9. Cracked. 10. Correctly. Track 26. 1. 
The rear hold door is closed. There are just a few containers to be loaded into the forward hold. 2. I'll ask the first officer to call you back. He's just doing the external walk around check at the moment. 3. The nose in parking seems to be US at gate 37. We need a marshaler to guide us into the stand. 4. We need to uplift 107 tones for the next leg to Sydney. 5. The passengers are boarding now, and we should be ready to get underway in about 10 minutes. 6. Brakes released. Push back the face east, please. 7. Has the ground told you that the chocks are in place yet? 8. We're unable to push back and start up for the moment. Catering is delivering some vegetarian meal trays which we're missing. Track 27. 1. We had two pallets of perishable goods arrive at the last minute, but cargo loading is almost complete. 2. The engineer has finished oil servicing. 3. I have requested a tanker for refueling. 4. The hydraulic power to our nose gear has failed. We will require towing. 5. We will need to allow an extra 20 minutes in the de-icing queue. 6. Request taxi instructions to runway 1 tree right. 7. There are advanced visual docking guidance systems at all gates. 8. The company has not arrived to start cabin cleaning. Track 28. 1. Startup approved. Starting number 2. 2. Advise when ready. We're closing the doors now. 3. Report position. We are on taxiway November approaching the intersection with Lima. 4. Give way to traffic coming from your left. Giving way to traffic. 5. Expedite crossing runway 28 left. Vacating runway 28 left. 6. Have you reached the gate? Negative. We are waiting for a Boeing 777 to leave our stand. Track 29. 1. Stand by for further instructions. 2. Hold short of the intersection of taxiways November and Lima. 3. Push back to face east. 4. Cross Taxiway Romeo. 5. Check your altimeter setting. 6. Contact frequency 121 decimal 95. 7. Caution slow down. Traffic from left to right. 8. Overtake the Star Alliance Boeing 737. 9. Hold short of taxiway Tango. 10. Expedite crossing. Track 30. 1. All Nippon 651. We require two jetways to disembark our passengers in time. 2. Speedbird 5287, stand Delta 19er. We are a Boeing 767. The nose-in packing system is set for a Boeing 737-200. 3. Northwest 1625. How long will we have to wait for snow clearing to be completed? 4. Lufthansa 3627. Due to the delay in departures, we will require further wing and stabilizer de-icing. Request advisors of revised departure time. 5. DHL 549er. Engineering has decided we need an engine run-up. We are requesting a high-speed tug to take us to the run-up area. 
Six. Korean Air 838. There has been a spillage of some of our flammable cargo. Request fire service immediately as a precautionary measure. 7. Air France 451, stand mic 04. Our APU is unserviceable. Would you please send a GPU? 8. I think we have missed the turn to Charlie. Can you send us a follow me car? Track 31. 1. Aero Mexico 562. Follow the Boeing 787 from the left. Taxi to holding point Echo 2, runway 17. 2. Volga Dnieper 875. Taxi to holding point India 1 via taxiway Delta. QNH 99R8 hectopascal. 3. Virgin 29R7, contact ground 119R, decimal 405. 4. Mirror 842, hold position, cancel takeoff. I say again, cancel takeoff. Traffic on short final. 5. Qatari 2547, taxi to the end, report vacated. 6. LAN 815, caution, construction work to the west of Stan Charlie 35. 7. Eagle Flight 1794, caution, large flock of birds reported east of runway 02. 8. City 361, line up and wait, vehicle crossing upwind end of runway. 9. Easy four six niner. Cross runway tree four left. Taxi to holding point Bravo one. Hold short of runway tree four right. Ten. Singapore four three five two. Taxi to holding point Julia two. Runway to one via taxiway Foxtrot. Q and H one zero zero three Hector Pasco. Track 32. 1. Cargo Lux 482, stop pushback immediately. Traffic is passing behind you. 2. Be advised that we can see a large flock of seagulls near the threshold of runway 06 right. 3. Tower, Speedbird 5391. It looks like the Delta 767 at stand, Tree Niner, has some impact damage under its right forward passenger door. 4. I can see a car crossing the active runway. 5. Tower, Philippine 458. We have just heard a loud thud and felt a slight vibration. Can you see if anything has impacted us? 6. As we were taxiing past gate 24, we noticed what looked like an oil spill under the right-hand engine of the Airbus parked there. 7. Regional 319er, Tower. Is your rear cargo compartment closed and locked? From here it seems that the locking lever is not flush. 8. Tower, JetBlue 1638, we are on Kilo heading for runway 10 left. There appears to be a suspicious looking man on foot carrying a large bag on mic. Track 33. 1. Severe vibrations. 2. Smoke coming from the landing gear. 3. There is a cowl panel missing. 4. A whistling sound. 5. The smell of old socks. 6. Gear not fully extended. 7. A strong crosswind. 8. The brakes are not responding properly. 9. Several loud thuds and a bang. 
Ten. A cloud of black smoke. Track thirty-four. One. Tai Six Three Niner just vacated runway one three right on high speed turn off two. Now on echo two. The United Triple Seven ahead of us appears to have a fire on engine one. There is dark smoke and some flames in the tailpipe. Two. Iberia five eight four nine at the intersection of taxiways in Romeo and November. We can see a Fokker fifty on taxiway November, which has skidded, and has its nose gear in a snowdrift. Three. Air India three zero nine four vacating runway one four. We landed after a FedEx Airbus freighter. We noticed some metal debris on the right-hand side of the runway, two hundred meters before exit Bravo. Four. Air Berlin two five nine. We made a hard landing on runway two one left due to very gusty conditions. We suspect that we may have some tire or gear damage. Five. Dragonair four six two inner taxiway Juliet, a Lufthansa A three thirty pushing back from stand one six has collided with a Turkish A three ten on stand one six. The A three thirty seems to have a damaged wingtip. Six. U.S. Air one five eight seven. We are an A three twenty on Gulf, just short of the intersection with Quebec. I think there's a stray dog near the threshold of runway two five right. Track thirty five. Wait a minute. We don't have an ATC clearance. No, I know. Go ahead. Ask. Uh, the KLM four eight zero five is now ready for takeoff, and we're waiting for ATC clearance. KLM eight seven zero five, you are clear to Papa Beacon. Climb two and maintain flight level nine zero. Right turn after takeoff. Proceed with heading zero four zero until intercepting the three two five radio from Las Palmas VOR. Ah, Roger, sir, we're clear to the Papa Beacon flight level nine zero. Right turn out zero four zero until intercepting the three two five, and we're now at takeoff. Let's go. Check thrust. Okay, stand by for takeoff. I will call you. And we are still taxiing down the runway. The Clipper one seven three six. Ah, Papa Alpha one seven three six. Report runway clear. Okay, we'll report when we're clear. Thank you. Is he not clear then? What are you saying? Yep. Is he not clear, the Pan American? Oh uh, yes. Track thirty six. One. There is traffic coming from our right. Can you identify it? Two. We're at our gate. Which gate are you at? Three. I can hear a noise. What sort of noise can you hear? Four. We are holding. Where are you holding? Five. I can see something. What can you see? Track thirty-seven. One. We have a deflated tire. Two. This computer has crashed. Three. There are six meal trays missing. Four. The cabin looks very dirty. Five. The brakes are very hot. Six. We need a new weight and balance printout. Seven. The aircraft must be taken to the hangar for the repair. Eight. There is an unruly and inebriated passenger in row seventeen. Nine. There is a container in the middle of our parking stand. Ten. We have a passenger on board complaining of acute stomach pains. Track thirty-eight. Hijet four five one taxi via outer taxiway to stand one seven. Outer taxiway stand one seven. Hijet four five one. Hijet four five one. For information, during your landing, you had a big flame from your right engine.
Thank you. That's copied. We had some problems with our engine, so we will have a check done by our maintenance. Can you see anything now? There is still some smoke and occasional flames coming from the exhaust. The fire service is on its way. It is approaching you from the left. Thank you very much. Hijet 451, stop there, please. Roger. We are stopping Hijet 451. For information, engine number two, our right-hand engine, is shut down. Thank you. Hijet 451, is it still on fire? Hijet 451, could you shut down all engines now? We are also shutting down engine number one, Hijet 451. Thank you, sir. Can you change frequency to 121 decimal 85? 121 decimal 85, Hijet 451. Quebec Oscar Kilo from Chief Fire Officer. Go ahead. We have checked your right-hand engine. We have some flames at the rear of the engine. We are cooling it down. Would you like to disembark? We have shut down both engines and discharged both fire agents. Yes, I think we'd like to disembark the passengers. Could you organize some stairs for us? There is actually no risk. We will continue to cool down the engine. We will put some stairs in place on the left, but on the right-hand side, please stand by to disembark by the slide. Okay, we will keep the slide armed on the right-hand side. Okay, just stand by in case of uh, degradation of the situation. Okay, we will do. Quebec Oscar Kilo from Fire Officer. Okay, go ahead. We will organize the bus and stairs and we will keep standing by with my guys and the appliances. Okay, thank you very much. Track 39. 1. Apron Control, Iberia 287. We have been waiting 10 minutes now for stand Bravo 18 to be vacated. Have you got an update? Two. There is still some smoke coming out of the engine on your left hand side. Advice intentions. Three. Japan Air 084, taxiing to stand Mike 1 Tree. We are at what we thought was our stand, but see that it is November 1 Tree. Can you give us new taxi instructions, please? Four. Air France 219er, the ambulance is on its way. What is the state of your passengers? 5. Korean 793, I see that you are not moving on taxiway Juliet. Do you have a problem? Do you require assistance? 6. Ground Control, Transat 047. We have just vacated runway 09 right on exit Bravo 1. We noticed a blue pickup truck parked on the extended threshold. The driver appeared to be changing a wheel. Is he on the manoeuvring surface? 7. Apron Control, FedEx 375. Have you got an update on our startup? We are carrying livestock and would prefer to expedite our departure. Eight. China Eastern 888. Confirm runway 21 left vacated. Report position. Track 40. 1. Kuwait Niner 7 Niner. 2. China Southern Fuwa 2 Niner. 3. Air France 868. 4. Emirates 6 Tree 9 a Tree. 5. Lan 4 2 1 Tree. 6. Qatar 5 7 9 a 7. 7. Singapore 4 0 Tree 1. 8. Aeroflot 7 9 a 5 1. 9. Scandinavian 6833. 10. Ardria 1255. Track 52. 1. The rear hold door is open. 2. We'll need a marshaller to guide us into the stand. 3. Push back to face east. 4. We will require towing. 5. We can see a large flock of seagulls near the threshold.
Six. There's a dog on the runway. Seven. We can smell a strong odor. Eight. We have a passenger on board complaining of stomach pains. Nine. Do you require assistance? Ten. There's a large oil spillage on the apron. Track 53. One. The tractor has arrived, but they can't connect it to our nose gear. Yes, we're waiting for them to bring one. Two. Sorry, it seems to be unserviceable at gate 38. Don't worry, we're sending send a marshal straight away to allow you to park. Three. Can you bring it back, please? A few last-minute bags have arrived to be loaded into the bulk hold. Yes, hold five. Four. You've given us clearance, but the red lights are still on. Five. I'll get ground handling to put some air stairs in place, as it isn't working at gate 24. Six. We've been waiting for almost 15 minutes now, and there's still no one to take us to the terminal. Seven. I'm keeping my parking brake on until you can fill you can place. Eight. Stop where you are. I'm sending you someone to show you the way to the terminal. Nine. I've still got the APU running and we've got a long turnaround. Can't you think about it? Ten. The brake fans seem to have done the job and the temperatures dropped. I don't think we need it anymore. Thanks all the same. I hope we haven't caused too much inconvenience. Flight Path by Philip Shawcross Published by Cambridge University Press 2011 This recording is copyright. CD 2 Track 1 1 Wind 170 degrees 12 knots gusting to 18 knots 2 Visibility 2 kilometers, overcast 400 feet. 3. Incoming flights have been reporting sudden changes in wind speed and direction and downdrafts over the last mile to touchdown. 4. Winds from the northeast are causing the runway surface to be covered in snow in some places and some runway markings to be hidden. 5. Be advised that the snow layer and bright sun are making visibility difficult. 6. An Aer Lingus Boeing 737, which has just landed, had its windshield and radome damaged by ice pellets during the descent. 7. There has been a shift in wind direction and the approach path may be affected by fumes coming from the factory chimneys to the southwest. 8. You may experience some light rain during the final descent. Track 2 1. Thick smoke 2. Scattered cloud 3. Heavy rain 4. Severe turbulence 5. Deep standing water 6. Bright glare. 7. Poor visibility. 8. Strong wind. 9. Scattered showers. 10. Thick fog. Track 3. 1. METAR for Buffalo Niagara recorded at 1755 Zulu. Wind 210 degrees at 16 knots, gusting 24, varying between 180 and 240 degrees. Visibility 1 statute mile, RVR runway 11 in excess of 6,000 feet. Light rain and mist. Cloud 1,500 broken. 2,500 overcast. Temperature 6, dew point 4, altimeter 2,990. 2. 
meter for Krakow recorded at 1800 Zulu. Wind 120 degrees 6 knots. Visibility 1400 meters. RVR runway 12 in excess of 1500 meters to the north. Heavy snow. Cloud broken 1700 feet. Temperature minus power, G point minus 7. QNH 1020, no sig. 3. Tap for Hisifi at 0801 Zulu. Wind 210 degrees at 12 knots. Visibility more than 10 kilometers. Cloud broken 1000 feet. Light rain broken 800 feet. Temporarily between 1200 and 1800 Zulu, scattered 015. Track 4 1. Metar for Bordeaux at 0850 Zulu. Wind 210 degrees at 12 knots. Visibility more than 10 kilometers. Cloud broken at 2300 feet. Temperature 20. Dew point one four QNH one zero one seven two Meta for Karachi at one two two five Zulu Wind one eight zero degrees at six knots Visibility eight kilometers clouds scattered at three thousand feet scattered at ten thousand feet temperature three four dew point two nine QNH one zero zero two 3. Mita for Sol at 1200 Zulu. Wind 200 degrees at 1 1 knots. Visibility more than 10 kilometers. Cloud broken at 3700 feet. Temperature 17. Dew point 13. QNH 1022. 4. Metar for Fujaira at 1200 Zulu. Wind 100 degrees at 9 knots. Varying from 040 to 130 degrees. Visibility 6 kilometers. Cloud view 2500 feet. Temperature 34. Dew point 25. QNH 1001 Hector Pascal. 2955 inches of mercury. 5. Meter for Maastricht at 1350 Zulu. Wind 210 degrees at 8 knots, varying from 160 to 250 degrees. Visibility more than 10 kilometers. Cloud broken 800 feet. Temperature 17. Dew point 14. QNH 1019. 6. TAF for Dubai at 1056 Zulu, valid from 1200 on the 8th to 1800 Zulu on the 9th. Wind 340 degrees at 1 2 knots. Visibility 8 kilometers. No significant cloud. Becoming between 1500 and 1700. Wind 100 degrees at 7 knots. Becoming between 0800 and 1000. Wind 350 degrees at 12 knots. Becoming between 1500 and 1700 on the 9th. Wind 110 degrees at 8 knots. 7. TAF for London City at 0800 Zulu. Valid from 0900 to 1800. Wind 180 degrees at 10 knots. Visibility more than 10 kilometers. Cloud view 3000 feet. Becoming between 00900 and 1200. Wind 1900 degrees at 20 knots, gusting 32 knots. Probability 30%. Temporarily between 1200 and 1800, visibility 8 kilometers in rain showers. Track 5 1. November Zulu Charlie Hotel, departure information Golf, issued at 2200 Zulu. Departure runway 20. 
Surface wind 110 degrees, 20 knots. Visibility 5,000 metres. Haze. Cloud scattered 3,000 feet. Broken 1 1,000 feet. Temperature 1 2. Dew point 1 0. QNH 1001. 2. Good afternoon. Prague Atis Information Lima 1059. ILS approach runway in use 24. Runway is wet. Transition level 50. Runway is 13 and 31 closed. Metar Praha issued at 1100. Wind 340 degrees, 14 knots. Visibility 10 kilometers or more. Light rain showers. Cloud few 500 feet. Few cumulonimbus 1500 feet. Broken 4000 feet. Temperature 15. Dew point 14. QNH 1019 hectopascal. Recent thunderstorm. No SIG. You have received Otis Information Lima. Track 6. 1. 1 1.39 p.m. Comair 580 is nearing its turn for an approach to landing. 2. 1.40 p.m. The airport loses power and the controllers lose contact with Comair 580. The pilot misses his place in the landing sequence. 3. 1.41 p.m. Comair 580 heads south. 4. 1.42 p.m. Comair 580 continues off course, flying south. 5. Approximately 1.43 p.m., Controllers re-establish contact with Comair 580. 6. Approximately 1.44 p.m. Controllers direct pilot to begin turn to head north to go around the storm. 7. 1.45 p.m. Tornado hits Embry-Riddle next to airport. 8. 1.46 p.m. Comair 580 heads north. Controllers then direct the plane up to a point near Flagler County and bring it back to land safely on a different runway. Track 7. 1. Freezing rain is expected at destination. 2. There is strong wind shear on approach. 3. The current ceiling is 300 feet. 4. There is solid cloud from 1,000 to 6,000 feet. 5. There is moderate to severe icing in clouds. 6. Gusty winds have been reported on the approach path. 7. Wind 150 degrees, 18 knots, gusting to 2 tree knots. 8. There are thunderstorms in the vicinity of Kuala Lumpur. 9. There is a 50 mile volcanic cloud moving southwest from Iceland. 10. There are snow flurries at destination. Track 8. The Boeing 747 400 was being operated by Qantas on a scheduled flight from Singapore. Shortly before the flight crew began their descent from cruise altitude at 18.57 local time, they reviewed the latest routine weather report for Sydney. Issued at 18.30, the METAR indicated that the surface winds were from 030 degrees at 17 knots and that there were thunderstorms 18 nautical miles southwest of the airport, moving east-northeast at 15 knots. As the 747 neared Sydney, the aerodrome traffic controllers received several wind shear reports. The 747 crew was on an approach control frequency and did not receive the new ATIS information with the wind shear report. The aircraft was about three nautical miles from the runway at 1922 when the crew told Control West that they were on final approach to runway 16 right. Control advised the crew that the wind at the landing threshold was 180 degrees at 22 knots, 
issued a clearance to land and requested a wind readout. The crew reported that the wind at 1,000 feet was a 20-knot tailwind. The co-pilot disengaged the autopilot and autothrottles at 780 feet and asked the pilot in command for continuous callouts of wind data. The pilot in command's callouts indicated that the wind changed from a tailwind to a 15-knot headwind at 500 feet and to an increasing right crosswind at 120 feet. The approach had been stable until the 747 encountered overshoot wind shear followed by undershoot wind shear. Recorded flight data indicated that calibrated airspeed increased from 146 knots to 159 knots at 120 feet and then decreased at a steady rate during the next six seconds to 131 knots on touchdown. Reference landing speed was 144 knots. The report said that the crew could not have avoided the hard landing. The recorded sink rate was 820 feet per minute and vertical acceleration was 2.34 g when the main gear contacted the runway. The pilot in command's decision to go around was appropriate and in accordance with company procedure. Track 9. 1. The co-pilot asked the pilot in command to call out the wind data. 2. The crew must always read back instructions. 3. After V1, the crew must take off whatever happens. 4. The calibrated airspeed decreased at a steady rate during the next 6 seconds to 131 knots on touchdown. 5. The JPWS said pull up, pull up. 6. The pilot in command made a regular call out every 30 seconds. 7. The pilot in command's decision to go around was appropriate. 8. The controller issued a clearance to land and requested a wind readout. Track 10. 1. A. Call out. B. Call out. 2. A. Read back. B. Read back. 3. A. Take off. B. Take off. 4. A. Touchdown. B. Touchdown. 5. A. Pull up. B. Pull up. 6. A. Roll out. B. Roll out. 7. A. Go around. B. Go around. 8. A. Read out. B. Read out. Track 11. The aircraft departed from Christchurch on schedule at 20.32. The captain was pilot flying. At 21.08, at flight level 210, the co-pilot requested clearance from Wellington Control to fly directly to Papa Alfa Romeo. The Wellington Controller approved the request and told the crew to descend to flight level 130. At 21.22, the controller told the crew to descend to 11,000 feet. The aircraft was descending at about 1,500 feet per minute. Ground speed was between 247 knots and 251 knots. The co-pilot told a Hakia control that they were conducting a descent to 11,000 feet. The Ohakia controller told the crew to continue the descent to 7,000 feet. The controller also issued route instructions and an altimeter setting for Palmerston North. The co-pilot read back the route instructions but not the altimeter setting. The flight data recorder showed that moderate turbulence had been encountered during the descent. The Ohakia controller observed on his radar screen a loss of data from the aircraft's transponder. The report said that a build-up of ice on the transponder likely obstructed transmission of data to ATS. 
the Ohakia controller again issued the altimeter setting but received no response from the co-pilot. The controller observed the aircraft's primary radar target begin a left turn. The aircraft's target then disappeared from the controller's screen. Track 12. 1. Reduce thrust to idle immediately. By reducing thrust, engines may suffer less buildup of molten debris on turbine blades and hot section components. Idle thrust allows engines to continue producing electrical power, bleed air for pressurization, and hydraulic power for airplane control. 2. Turn the auto throttles off. This prevents the engines from increasing thrust above idle. Ash debris in the engine can result in reduced surge margins, and limiting the number of thrust adjustments improves the chances of engine recovery. 3. Exit the ash cloud as quickly as possible. A 180 degree turn out of the ash cloud using a descending turn is the quickest exit strategy. Many ash clouds extend for hundreds of miles, so assuming that the encounter will end shortly can be false. Climbing out of the ash could result in increased engine debris buildup as the result of increased temperatures. The increased engine buildup can cause total thrust loss. 4. Turn on engine and wing anti ice devices and all air conditioning packs. These actions improve the engine stall margins by increasing the flow of bleed air. 5. If possible, start the auxiliary power unit, APU. The APU can power systems in the event of a multiple engine power loss. It can also be used to restart engines through the use of APU bleed air. 6. If volcanic dust fills the flight deck, the crew may need to use oxygen. Use flight deck oxygen at the 100% setting. Manual deployment of the passenger oxygen system is not required because it will deploy automatically if the cabin altitude exceeds 14,000 feet. Track 13 1. The flight is cleared to climb from below the transition altitude to a flight level above it. The pilot sets standard pressure setting and commences the climb. The APCO re-clears the flight to level at an altitude below the transition altitude. The pilot levels at the re-cleared level, but with the standard pressure setting still set. 2. The flight is cleared to descend from above the transition level to an altitude that is below it. The pilot sets Q and H and commences the descent. The APCO re-clears the flight to a flight level above the transition level. The pilot levels at the re-cleared level, but with Q and H still set. 3. The APCO issues a clearance to climb or descend to a specified flight level, and the pilot follows this clearance. Subsequently, the APCO instructs the pilot to level at an intermediate flight level, but at the time of this re-clearance, the flight has passed the re-cleared flight level. Track 14. 1. Air France 3762, climb flight level 210. Climb flight level 210. Air France 3762. Air France 3762, correction. Climb and maintain flight level 190. I say again, level 190. We have already passed level 190. Returning to level 190, Air France 3762. 2. Emirates 5371, climb to altitude 5,000 feet. Climbing to altitude 5,000 feet, Emirates 5371. Emirates 5371, confirm your cleared altitude. Cleared altitude is um, 6,000 feet. Descend. Descend immediately to altitude 5,000 feet. Expedite in descent to 5,000 feet, Emirates 5371. 3. Japan Air 19056, confirm your cleared level. 
Cleared level is 130, Japan Air 19056. Negative, you were cleared to flight level 140. Climb back immediately to flight level 140. Flight level 140, Wilco. Japan Air 19056. Four. Air China 3776, descend to altitude four. to 3,000 feet in two minutes. Descending to altitude 3,000 feet, Air China 3776. Say again, you're cleared altitude? Clear to altitude 3,000 feet, Air China 3776. Negative, you are cleared to altitude 4,000 feet. I say again, 4,000. Climb back immediately. Expect altitude 3,000 feet in two minutes. Have stopped descent, returning to altitude 4,000 feet. Air China 3776. 5. Delta 1982, climb flight level 090. Climb to flight level 090, Delta 1982. Delta 1982, correction. Stop climb at flight level 080. You have traffic at 12 o'clock. We have pass level 080, descending flight level 080, Delta 1982. 6. Air Canada 5718, stop descent at altitude 6,000 feet. Traffic below. Let me know when you're climbing again and maintain. Stopping descent. We will climb back to altitude 6,000 feet. Air Canada 5718. Track 15. On November the 12th, at around 1638, an MD-81 en route from Denmark entered the Lamborn Lima Alpha Mike holding pattern prior to making an approach to land at London's Heathrow Airport. Two minutes later, a Boeing 737-400 from Amsterdam, also bound for Heathrow, called on the same frequency and was also instructed to hold at Lima Alpha Mike. The MD-81 was instructed to descend to flight level 140 and subsequently reported at that level. The Boeing 737 was then instructed to descend to flight level 150 and this instruction was correctly read back by the crew. 1,000 feet vertical separation is the minimum permitted in this airspace. But by 1644, vertical separation had reduced to 100 feet and the two aircraft had closed to around 750 metres horizontally. The Boeing 737, at its lowest, had descended to 14,052 feet, 1013 hectopascal. The controllers were devoting their attention to other flights. Their attention was drawn to the incident when an automatic system, the short-term conflict alert, activated to indicate that there was a possible imminent loss of separation requiring immediate attention. The Boeing 737 successfully climbed back to flight level 150. Track 16. 1. Speedbird 5673 climbed to flight level 150. Climb flight level 190, Speedbird 5673. Speedbird 5673, negative. Climb to flight level 150. Roger, climb to flight level 150, Speedbird 5673. 2. Aeromexico 3645, climb to flight level 250. Climb to flight level 290, Aeromexico 3645. Report on reaching. Track 17. 1. Cedar Air 385, climb to altitude 5,000 feet. Climb altitude 9,000 feet, Cedar Air 385. 2. KLM 4 388, descend and maintain flight level 250. Descend and maintain flight level 250, KLM 4833. 3. Shuttle 771, contact Riga approach 129 decimal 4. Contact Riga approach 125 decimal 9, shuttle 771. Shuttle 771, negative. Contact Riga approach 125 decimal 4. Roger. Contact Riga approach 125 decimal 4, shuttle 771. 
Four. Shenzhen three eight five one. Hold at Hangzhou flight level one nine zero. Expect onward clearance at time two five. Landing delays at Shanghai two zero minutes. Hold at Hangzhou flight level one nine zero. Expect onward clearance at two zero. Shenzhen three eight five one. Shenzhen three eight five one negative. Expect onward clearance at two five. Delays at Shanghai two zero minutes. Hold at Hangzhou flight level one eight zero. Expect onward clearance at two five. Holding at Hangzhou flight level one eight zero. Shenzhen three eight five one. Five. Turum four five eight. Monitor one two eight decimal three seven five for eighties. Monitor one two eight decimal five seven five for eighties. Turum four five eight. Six. Spanair three six five eight. Avoiding action. Turn left immediately. Heading two nine zero. Traffic at two o'clock. Five miles crossing right to left. Left heading two five zero. Spanair three six five eight. Seven. Vietnam Airlines eight seven three maintain flight level two seven zero. Squawk five two five one. Maintain flight level two seven zero. Squawk five two seven one. Vietnam Airlines eight seven three. Eight. Air Madagascar six six three descend to altitude five thousand feet. Dar es Salaam QNH one zero zero three report entering the hold. Descend to altitude five thousand feet. Dar es Salaam QNH one zero one three. We'll go Air Madagascar six six three. Track eighteen, one. Approaching Vienna, an aircraft was cleared to descend to three thousand feet for ILS two nine approach. The pilot misheard the clearance and selected two thousand feet on the mode control panel. The aircraft descended six hundred feet below the assigned altitude before climbing back to three thousand feet. Two. During climb from flight level three one zero. To flight level three three zero, flight four seven eight was recleared to flight level three seven zero, which was read back and accepted. Passing flight level three five zero, ATC requested the crew to maintain flight level three three zero, and advised that the clearance to climb should have been for flight five seven eight. Three. An aircraft was cleared by Lisbon to descend to flight level two seven zero, and subsequently recleared to stop descent at flight level three hundred, while passing flight level three zero two, with a high rate of descent. The aircraft was levelled by flight level two nine eight. Four. On climb out from Brussels, one aircraft encountered heavy rain and updraft during level off. Causing an altitude deviation of two hundred and thirty feet. Five. Departing London Heathrow, an aircraft was cleared to six thousand feet on QNH nine eight eight. The crew requested climb to avoid weather and were cleared to flight level one two zero. Approaching level off, the crew received a TCAS RA descend. When clear of the conflicting traffic. The crew realised that they had forgotten to set the standard pressure setting. The traffic had passed seven hundred feet above them. Six. On climb out from Glasgow, a crew thought their aircraft had been cleared from flight level zero seven zero to flight level one four zero and read back the clearance. On passing flight level zero seven eight. ATC told the crew to stop at flight level zero eight zero, informing them that they had taken someone else's clearance. Track nineteen, one. They were six hundred feet below. Two. We are climbing back. Three. Gulf Air five four seven six, descend to flight level two seven zero. Four. We are approaching level off. 
Five. Shamrock Five Nine Zero Six. Cleared to descend. Flight level three one zero. Six. Request turn left to avoid weather. Seven. We are seven hundred feet above them. Eight. You took someone else's clearance. Nine. We are climbing from flight level zero seven zero to flight level one four zero. Ten. We have a high rate of descent. Track twenty. One. Caution: prohibited area eight miles ahead. Two. Report your heading to Hamburg Control. Three. After the departing seven six seven, line up and hold. Four. Unable to give you a clearance to proceed direct, but you can cross under your own responsibility. Five. Traffic is ATR seventy two eleven o'clock five miles. Track twenty one, one. Uzbek Niner five two. Climb and maintain flight level three seven zero. Climb and maintain flight level three seven zero. Uzbek Niner five two. Two. Saudi A three seven four, clear to the one zero four radial of the Alpha Delta November VOR at one eight miles DME fix. Cleared radial one zero four Alpha Delta November VOR one eight miles DME fix Saudi three seven four. Three. Climbing back to altitude seven thousand feet, Midland three eight seven one. Midland three eight seven one, report on reaching. Four. Varig two six nine zero four. How many passengers do you have on board? We have two seven four passengers on board. Five. Southwest three seven six eight. After the landing seven thirty seven. Line up. After landing seven thirty seven. Lining up. Southwest three seven six eight. Six. China Southern five eight one. Climb flight level two nine zero. Correction. Flight level two seven zero. Roger. Climb flight level two seven zero. China Southern five eight one. Seven. Speedbird five eight eight seven requests straight in ILS approach runway two seven right. Speedbird five eight eight seven cleared straight in ILS approach runway two seven right. Track twenty two, one. Qatar four seven three avoiding action turn left heading two seven zero. Traffic twelve o'clock six miles. Left heading two seven zero Qatar four seven three. Two. Jet Blue eight five seven. Climb back now. Maintain altitude four thousand feet. Contact approach one two six decimal three seven five. Climb and maintain four thousand feet. Jet Blue eight five seven. Three. Emirates four eight six. Stop climb at flight level two nine or zero. Contact Atlanta Center on one three five decimal six two five. Stop climb level two nine zero. Contact Atlanta one three five decimal six two five. Emirates four eight six. Four. Scandinavian six five six. Descend and maintain altitude three thousand feet. Reduce speed to one nine zero knots. Descend and maintain three thousand feet. Reducing speed to one nine zero knots. Scandinavian six five six. Five. Air France two eight three, expedite climb until passing flight level one four zero and radar heading zero four zero. Expediting climb until passing flight level one four zero, radar heading zero four zero. Air France two eight three. Six. United Niner three Niner, correction set Q N H Niner Niner three hectopascal, contact approach on one one Niner decimal three. Roger. We had our altimeter set in inches of mercury at two nine or nine or three, setting QNH nine or nine or three hectopascal. 
We'll contact approach on 119er Decimal Tree, United Niner Tree Niner. 7. Leaving flight level 240 for flight level 140, Luxair 166. Luxair 166, negative, maintain flight level 240. 8. China Southern 838, stop descent and maintain flight level 090, fly heading 190. Half pass through flight level 090, climbing back to 090, heading 190, China Southern 838. Track 23. 1. Silk Air 4739, climb now to flight level 140. We responded to TCAS resolution advisory. Confirm that we are clear to climb back to flight level 140. Silk Air 4739er. 2. Laser 629er, stop descent now. You are clear to altitude 9,000 feet. Climb to altitude 9,000 feet. The purser was in the flight deck. We have a female passenger suffering from acute stomach pains. Request medical assistance on arrival. Climbing to altitude 9,000 feet, laser 629er. 3. Oman Air 5837, descend and maintain flight level 110. Descend and maintain flight level 110, Oman Air 5837. Oman Air 5837, confirm your present altitude. We are showing you at flight level 100. Affirm, flight level 100, Oman Air 5837. Oman 5837, we cleared you to flight level 110. I say again, 110. Climb now to level 110. Expect level 090 at 17. Sorry, we set 100 on the autopilot panel. Climbing now, Oman Air 5837. 4. Garcia 5296, climb flight level 290. Climb flight level 290, Garcia 5296. Russia 5296, we instructed you to maintain flight level 230. Descend flight level 230 immediately. Descending flight level 230, we did not hear your instruction. 5. Korean Air 3659er, climb and maintain flight level 390. Climb and maintain flight level 390. Korean Air 3655. Korean Air 3655, maintain present level. That instruction was not intended for you. 6. Corsair 3668, descend to and maintain altitude 9,000 feet. Contact tower 118 decimal 325. Descend to and maintain 5,000 feet. Tower 118 decimal 325. Corsair 3668. Corsair 3668, confirm your cleared level, please. Clear to altitude 5,000 feet. Corsair 3668. Corsair 3668, negative. Climb now to altitude 9,000 feet. I say again, 9,000. Track 24. 1. We are still above our maximum landing weight. 2. We are en route for Caracas. 3. I do not know what happened. 4. I'm feeling tired. I need a break. 5. The level bust was due to confused call signs. 6. There are relief crews standing by. 7. What was that noise? Did you hear that too? 8. Did you hear anything unusual? 9. We are climbing to flight level 190. 10. Traffic is not allowed during quiet hours. Track 25. 
Cactus 15.9, turn left heading 270. Uh, this is uh, Cactus 1539, hit first, lost thrust on both engines, returning back towards LaGuardia. Okay, uh, you need to return to LaGuardia. Turn left heading up uh, 220. 220. Tire, stop your departure, he's got emergency returning. Who is it? It's 1529. He, he, uh, bird strike, he lost all engine. he lost the thrust in the engines, he's returning immediately. Cactus 1529, which engines? He lost thrust in both engines, he said. Got it. Cactus 1529, if we can get it for you, do you want to try to land 1913? We're unable, we may end up in the Hudson. Hi, right, Cactus 1549, it's going to be left traffic to runway 31. Unable. Okay, what do you need to land? Cactus 15.9, runway 4 is available if you want to make left traffic to runway 4. Hey, the echo field is going to be What's over to our right? Anything in New Jersey? Maybe Teterboro? Okay, yeah, off your right side is Teterboro Airport. Do you want to try to go to Teterboro? Yes. Cactus 15.29, turn right 280. You can land runway right. 1 at Teterboro. We can't do it. Okay, which runway would you like at Teterboro? We're going to be in the Hudson. I'm, I'm sorry, say again, Cactus. Track 26. One. We lost thrust in both engines and are turning back to LaGuardia. Two. We had a sudden cabin depressurization and are making an emergency descent. Three. We saw a thunderstorm storm of us and were turning two zero degrees right to avoid it. Four. We felt a loud fuh fuh engine two dur during climb out and are checking the engine parameters. Five. ATC told us to take delaying action and we are orbiting at the moment. Six. ATC cleared us to flight level 390 and we are climbing now. 7. We smelt smoke in the flight deck and we are donning our oxygen masks. 8. Air Control handed us over to approach and we are contacting them on 118.325. Track 32. 1. You decide to continue an informed dispatch. You collect all weather data at alternate airports while discussing diversion options. You decide to divert at the first indication of any other problems. Some 15 minutes later, number 2 engine oil pressure starts to drop. What is your next move in view of the developing situation? You decide to divert and transmit a PAN call, requesting clearance to an airport 313 nautical miles southwest. Iceland Control gives an immediate clearance via HF. What task sharing are you implementing at this stage? You advise the cabin crew. They prepare promptly for the landing and inform the passengers of the precautionary diversion. You initiate a drift down, throttling back the number 2 engine, rather than shutting it down. ATC offers an early localizer intercept at your discretion. The landing is carried out without any incidents. Inspection of the engine later shows a rupture between the main oil filter and the engine supply line, with four litres of oil remaining after shutdown. Although the engine was not shut down during the incident flight, no damage resulted. Track 33 In an incident described as typical of the risks of not speaking the same language, the crew of a Boeing 737 had difficulty communicating with British air traffic controllers after their electronic flight displays went blank in instrument meteorological conditions following departure from London Heathrow Airport. No one was injured and the airplane was not damaged in the incident, which involved a 27-minute return flight to Heathrow where the airplane landed safely. While the commander worked to resolve the problem, the co-pilot flew the airplane by reference to the standby instruments. At one point in the flight, as the airplane was flown north instead of north-northeast as directed, it came into conflict with another aircraft, whose crew was issued revised instructions to maintain separation. During the flight, 
there were a number of exchanges between the pilots and the controller in which it was apparent that the commander, who was making the radio calls, was not able to understand some of the instructions. The ATC controller became concerned that the airplane's flight path indicated that the flight crew might be planning to land on runway 09 right and asked that all traffic be cleared from the runway. The airplane subsequently landed on runway 09 left and taxied to a parking stand. Track 34. 1. Report the situation on board. Report passenger bad. 2. Do you require assistance? Assistance? Necessary small... small... 3. How many passengers do you have on board? Passengers? Yes. Good. 4. Anchor area control, pass your message. Problem, engine. 5. Report flight conditions. Conditions, bad, severe. 6. Hold at Nolan, altitude 7,000 feet, expect onward clearance 18, landing delays 25 minutes. Hold, unable, fuel low. Flight Path by Philip Shawcross, published by Cambridge University Press 2011. This recording is copyright. CD3, Track 1. The A321 was en route from Spain to Norway with 216 passengers and seven crew members. Weather conditions at the destination were forecast to include 4,000 metres visibility in snow with temporary conditions of 1,200 metres visibility and 800 feet vertical visibility. The flight crew did not expect any problems related to the weather or runway conditions. They expected the runway to be prepared to the usual acceptable standard during winter operations. The aircraft was about 40 minutes from the airport when snow began to accumulate on the active runway. Runway 18. The runway had an available landing distance of 2,569 metres and was 45 metres wide. Airport personnel decided to start clearing snow after the A321 landed. Track 2. During descent, the flight crew received data from the Automatic Terminal Information Service indicating that runway 18 was dry and that the braking action was good. Reported visibility was 2,500 metres in light snow and the ceiling was at 500 feet. Winds were from 060 degrees at 6 knots. When the crew established radio communication with the airport control tower, they were told that runway 18 was contaminated by 8 mm of wet snow and that the braking action was medium. A post-incident analysis of weather and runway conditions, however, indicated that braking action actually was poor and that 12 mm of snow should have been reported, as the snow was wet. This was the first time the crew became aware that the runway was contaminated by snow. The first officer was the pilot flying. The approach was stabilised until the aircraft reached a radio altitude of 250 feet. The aircraft was one dot high on the glide slope at 50 feet and touched down about 780 metres from the runway threshold at 140 knots. This was about 350 metres beyond the intended touchdown zone. The first officer applied maximum reverse thrust after the main landing gear touched down. However, the crew perceived no braking action and suspected that the autobrake had failed. The commander took control of the aircraft about halfway down the runway. With about 800 metres of runway remaining, the commander engaged the parking brake and declared an emergency that the aircraft was going off the runway. This resulted in increased deceleration and the aircraft stopped at the very end of the hard-surfaced runway with the nose wheel against a concrete localizer monitor antenna base. 
There were no injuries and the A321 received minor damage to the lower fuselage skin and to the nose wheel, rim and tyre. The crew shut down the engines and the commander ordered a non-emergency evacuation through the left forward cabin door. Track 3 1. The full length of the runway. 2. The fire service. 3. Cat 3C. 4. Localizer and glide slope. 5. Runway 31 left. 6. Radar vectors to final approach. 7. ILS runway 21 right approach. 8. GNSS approach runway 1 tree. 9. VOR DME approach runway 0 tree left. 10. Lower level. Track 4. 1. CSA lines 245, turn right heading 255 to intercept localizer, runway 24. Turn right heading 245, intercept localizer, runway 24, CSA lines 245. 2. Speedbird 1872, you can expect direct Trujillo in about 20 miles. Trujillo direct, Speedbird 1872. 3. Oscar Kilo Alpha 1478, maintain 6,000 feet. Maintain 6,000 feet, Oscar Kilo Alpha 1487. 4. Suker 4196, traffic 10 o'clock, 11 one miles, westbound. Traffic 11 o'clock, 10 miles, westbound, Suker 4906. 5. Foxtrot Alpha Bravo 159, turn right heading 080, contact radar 118 decimal 825. Turn right heading 040, contacting radar 108 decimal 825. 6. Orient Eagle 359 cleared ILS approach runway 26 left. Cleared ILS approach to 6 left, Orion Eagle 559. 7. ENCO 153, continue present heading to intercept localizer, 1 Niner miles from touchdown. Continue present heading to intercept localizer, 5 miles from touchdown, ENCO 153. 8. Cypress 766, surface wind 160 degrees, 10 knots, QNH 1031, QFE 1025. Wind 160 degrees, 10 knots, QNH 1021, QFE 1025, Cypress 766. Track 5. 1. I am very concerned about our rate of descent. 2. I'm getting worried about whether we'll be able to hold much longer. 3. I'm afraid that we've lost radio contact with Air India 4581. 4. I thought that he read back 290, not 250. 5. The Boeing 737 is gaining on the turboprop ahead. 6. I'm puzzled by our altimeter reading. I thought we were higher than 4,000 feet. 7. I am concerned about the flights being diverted from Oslo. 8. Don't you think it's strange that they've instructed us to turn left? I thought there was terrain at more than 3,000 meters to the northwest. Track 6. The flight crew had prepared for an ILS approach to runway 28, but that runway was closed for scheduled maintenance as the MD-83 neared Dublin Airport. The approach controller cleared the crew to conduct the VORDME approach to runway 34. 
The MD-83 was about five nautical miles from the runway and at 1,900 feet when it began to deviate left of the final approach course. This deviation was due to the flight crew misidentifying the lights of a hotel as those of the runway approach lighting system on runway 34. The commander became puzzled by the absence of runway edge lights ahead. He radioed, Tower, confirm that you have all lights on tree four. The tower controller, who had been distracted by communications with airport maintenance personnel, noticed that the aircraft was significantly off track and told the crew to turn right now, turn right. You're not landing on the runway. Climb to 2,000 feet. The aircraft was at an altitude of 580 feet when the co-pilot initiated the go-around. After considering the wind, the flight crew accepted vectors and completed an ILS approach to runway 16, landing without further incident. Track 7 1 Remind all incoming flights that runway 29 left is closed for scheduled maintenance. Runway 29 right is the runway in use. 2 Doesn't that Boeing 737 look too high on final? 3. Airport maintenance has reported 10 millimetres of standing water on the far end of runway 15 left. 4. The A319, which is number 2 on approach, seems to be gaining on the Saab 340, which is number 1 on short final. 5. Notify the wind direction has changed from 110 degrees to 140 degrees. 6. The last aircraft to land on runway 26 has not yet vacated the runway and is stopped past the final exit. 7. Dragonair 448 seems to be making an approach to runway 31 left and not the runway in use, 31 right. 8. Runway 28 left has been closed due to the ILS being out of order. All incoming flights are transferred to runway 28 right. 9. It looks like that Embraer's nose gear is not extended. 10. The new runway in use is 04 right. Remind all incoming flights of the proximity of the factory chimneys at 230 feet, two miles out, offset 500 metres from the approach path. Track 8. 1. Regional 259 is two miles from touchdown. An MD-83 has just entered the active runway. 2. Runway 07 right is blocked by an aircraft which is not vacated. Lufthansa 338 is on short final. 3. There has been a heavy storm and there are patches of standing water towards the centre section of runway 28 left. 4. The last flight to land reported severe wind shear half a mile from the threshold of runway 15 right, with a sudden drop in airspeed of 20 knots. 5. Ryanair 3548 is approaching runway 26 left, but is clear to land on runway 26 right. 6. Maintenance work has been conducted on the far end of runway 04. As a result, the landing distance available has been reduced by 300 metres to 2,710 metres. 7. Migratory bird movements have been reported in the vicinity of the approach path to runway 23 left. 8. BA375, are you at your minimum approach speed? 9. There are ice patches and drifting snow along the entire length of runway 28 left. 10. Malaysian 428 is 2 miles from touchdown and appears to have an excessive sink rate. Track 9. 1. Be advised that visibility has decreased to 400 metres. 2. There is a factory with a chimney of 148 feet situated one mile to the northwest of the flight path and two miles from the runway threshold. 3. 
Remember that there have been cases of pilots confusing the runway lights with nearby motorway and city lighting. 4. Pilots have been reporting poor braking action due to the contaminated state of the runway surface. 5. There is a high-tension power line reaching 180 feet running across the approach flight path three miles out from the threshold. 6. A beach craft which appears to have a radio failure has strayed into the terminal area. 7. A line of hills rising to 2,300 feet is located five miles to the southeast of the approach path to runway 09. 8. The A320, which has just landed, reported very strong, variable and gusting winds during the last three miles of the approach. Track 10. 1. We seem to have a flap system failure. 2. The captain's PFD and ND have just gone blank. 3. We have a low oil level caution message for engine number 3. 4. We had a fire warning from engine number 2 a few minutes ago. The engine has been shut down. 5. We have just lost AC buses 1, 2 and 3. The auto throttle is disconnected and the display units are in degraded mode. The strength of our radio communications is less than normal. 6. We smelt some odours a couple of minutes ago, compatible with electrical overheat, which seemed to come from the overhead panel. 7. Passing through 8,000 feet, we were subjected to a lightning strike and experienced some power transients. The autothrust disconnected and there were several indication oscillations. 8. The glide path has been fluctuating on both our displays and we have only got DME data on System 1. We had no outer marker indication. Track 11. 1. If we lose that hydraulic system, we will not have all the braking. 2. As the yacht dumper has failed, we are experiencing a lot of Dutch roll and the passengers are uncomfortable. 3. In the event of cabin depressurization, the oxygen masks will drop down. 4. Since engine number 2 has been shut down, I am opening the cross-feed valve. 5. The autopilot and auto thrust have disconnected, so I will fly the approach manually. 6. We have lost one main electrical generation, therefore I am starting the APU. 7. There is a Captain Probes warning, so my instruments are supplied by the standby probes. 8. We have a gear not downlocked message. As a result, I am requesting a low pass. Track 12. 1. We seem to have a flap system failure and are unable to extend the flaps for landing. 2. The captain's PFD and ND have just gone blank. 3. We have a low oil level caution message for engine number 3. We have reduced power on number 3 to flight idle and are monitoring the level. Oil pressure seems to be stable. 4. We had a fire warning from engine number 2 a few minutes ago. The engine has been shut down. We have no more signs of fire. We'll need a few minutes to make sure the situation is stabilized before making our approach. 5. Ten minutes ago, the cabin crew reported a considerable amount of water on the floor of the forward galley above the main equipment centre. We are experiencing electrical problems. The strength of our radio communications is less than normal. 6. We smelt some odours a couple of minutes ago, compatible with electrical overheat, which seemed to come from the overhead panel. We have de-energised all non-essential circuits. We can no longer smell anything. 7. We experienced control problems with the autopilot engaged, so reverted to manual flight. Problems have gone, continuing manually. 8. 
Passing through 8,000 feet, we were subjected to a lightning strike and experienced some power transients. We need to return to land and request ILS to runway 13 left. 9. The glide path has been fluctuating on both our displays and we have only got DME data on System 1. We had no outer marker indication. We are making a missed approach. 10. We have just experienced a stick shaker warning and autopilot disconnect. We are conducting a go-around to review the situation. Track 13. 1. We have had a momentary power cut and we are showing nothing on our radar screens for the moment. 2. Be advised that the runway centerline lighting has just failed. The approach and runway edge lighting is still fully operational. 3. The glide slope is unserviceable. 4. I'll give you the present weather as the automated ATs is not transmitting for the moment. 5. Do not be surprised if there are short breaks in the radio transmissions. There is a lot of interference at the moment. 6. Use the runway centerline lighting for rollout and take particular care when you vacate the runway. Much of the runway edge lighting is obstructed by snow. 7. Airport maintenance are working on the localizer antenna. You can make a visual approach to runway 17 right. It has a pappy set at 3 degrees. 8. You are cleared for an ILS approach to runway 29 a left. Be advised that the pappies are unserviceable. Track 14. 1. This will be a surveillance radar approach to the runway in use. 2. Be advised of terrain, rising to 2,800 feet near the approach path. 3. The ILS is operating in downgraded mode. 4. Visibility is decreasing quite rapidly. 5. Debris has been reported on runway 29 left. 6. There are several aircraft ahead of you on approach. 7. The far end of runway 17 is contaminated with standing water. 8. If radio contact is lost and you are unable to continue this approach, climb to the minimum safe altitude. 9. There has been a power cut and some of the airport lighting and ground support is not available. 10. The wind velocity has changed since information golf. Track 15. Bangkok approach, FedEx 3479er. There was a loud crashing noise during our descent and we had a sudden pitch down moment. When the flight engineer went to investigate, he found that one of the cargo pallets on the main deck had come detached and had slid three or four meters. He has secured it temporarily, but we are trying to avoid any sudden maneuvers. Request long straight in approach. FedEx 3479er. FedEx 3479, Bangkok approach. Roger. Turn left heading 160. Intercept ILS runway 19 left. Are you familiar with the approach procedure? Affirm. FedEx 3479er. Do you accept visual approach runway 19 left behind A330? Behind A330, FedEx 3479er. FedEx 3479er, cleared visual approach runway 19 left. Maintain own separation from preceding A330. Track 16. 1. Pan Pan, Pan Pan, Pan Pan, London Control, this is Condor 4903. We now have minimum fuel and two five minutes fuel endurance. Request descent and priority landing. Condor 4903. 2. We seem to be unable to extend our right hand main gear. We wish to discontinue our approach and attempt to recycle the gears before making a new approach. 3. There were vibrations on engine number 2. 
However, the engine seems to be running smoothly now and we are continuing our climb. We suspect bird ingestion. You might advise departing aircraft. 4. The impact has caused a loss of cabin pressurization. We have initiated an emergency descent, are passing through 17,000 feet and request clearance to a lower level. 5. The rear cabin crew have reported two agitated passengers who seem to be threatening the crew in the forward galley. There is someone banging on the cockpit door. I will update you on the situation. 6. We have a hydraulic problem, but all systems remain serviceable at the moment. We'll advise any change. 7. Mayday, mayday, mayday. There is smoke coming from the overhead circuit breaker panel, requesting emergency descent and diversion. 8. Dispatch has informed us of a phone call the airline has received, warning of an explosive device in the passenger baggage, requesting expedited descent and diversion to the nearest suitable airport. Track 17. On the 7th of January 2008, a Boeing 747 was being operated on a scheduled international service between London, England and Bangkok, Thailand. The aircraft had 346 passengers and 19 crew on board. At about 0837 UTC, while the aircraft was at about 21,000 feet on descent to Bangkok International Airport, the customer service manager notified the flight crew that a substantial water leak had occurred in the forward galley. The customer service manager reported that the water was smelly and covered the entire galley floor. The cabin crew attempted to soak up the water using blankets. Four or five blankets were saturated. At 0840, the flight crew noticed a bus control unit status message. The message disappeared after a short time. Between 0845 and 0852, cockpit indications showed a number of other electrical bus and system failures. AC buses 1, 2 and 3 were not powered. The auto throttle disconnected automatically. The autopilot disengaged automatically. The right displays blanked. The status of AC bus 4 appeared normal. The flight crew reported main battery and auxiliary power unit battery discharge messages, indicating that some systems were being powered by batteries. The crew reported that they also checked the cockpit circuit breakers and none of them appeared to be open. When the crew communicated with air traffic control, the strength of the transmissions was less than normal. EPR indication was available only on the number 4 engine. The cabin lights extinguished during approach. The crew conducted an approach to runway 01 right in visual meteorological conditions and the aircraft landed safely at 0907. Track 18 1. The customer service manager notified the flight crew that a substantial water leak had occurred in the forward galley. 2. The customer service manager reported that the water was smelly. 3. The cabin crew said that four or five blankets were saturated. 4. The flight crew saw that the bus control unit status message disappeared after a short time. 5. The pilots noticed that AC buses 1, 2 and 3 were not powered. 6. The flight crew saw that the auto throttle disconnected automatically. 7. The status of AC bus 4 appeared normal. 8. The crew reported that they also checked the cockpit circuit breakers. 9. The crew observed that the strength of the transmissions was less than normal. 10. The passengers saw that the cabin lights extinguished during approach. Track 19. 1. Full. 2. Lift. 3. Dumper. 4. 
lose. Five, far. Six, last. Seven, loss. Eight, way. Nine, warm. Ten, clean. Track twenty. One. The windshield cracked a few moments ago. Two. We made a go around. Three. We have lost the pilot's PFD and ND displays. Four. We have donned our oxygen masks. Five. We have initiated an emergency descent. Six. We have extended the rat. Seven. We immediately retarded engine number two to flight idle. Eight. We have started the APU. Nine. We are recycling the landing gear. Ten. We wish to make a precautionary landing. Track twenty one. Flight NZ60, an Air New Zealand Boeing 767 aircraft with 165 passengers and 11 crew members on board, was cleared to Faleolo via a Foxtrot Alpha Lima Echo arrival, 15 nautical mile arc for the ILS Runway 08, using a low drag approach profile. From Foxtrot Alpha Lima Echo, the aircraft established on the 15 mile arc then captured the localizer inbound course at 14 miles. About one second after approach was armed, the auto flight system captured the glide path. Approximately five seconds after glide path capture, the rate of descent increased. Flight deck instruments confirmed the aircraft to be both on glide slope and on localizer, and the ILS was identifying correctly. The pilot not flying became aware that the visual cues did not correspond with what was expected. Approximately six miles from the threshold, a missed approach was carried out from an altitude of about 400 feet. The aircraft instruments indicated on glide slope throughout the go-around until abeam the runway. Track 22 Analysis of flight data recorder data revealed that at all positions within 40 degrees of the localizer front course, the aircraft was receiving a zero glide slope deviation signal. The aircraft thought it was on glide slope, but it had descended on a path of approximately 3.5 degrees to a point 5.5 nautical miles short of the runway. It was found that the ILS glide slope transmitter had inadvertently been left in the bypass mode, with the unserviceable transmitter selected. This resulted in the glide slope transmitter monitor being unable to shut down the faulty transmitter or to transfer to the serviceable transmitter. The result was the transmission of invalid glide slope guidance information. The tower remote ILS transmission indicator was inoperative. The crew of NZ-60 was well prepared and competent and executed their duties in accordance with company standard operating procedures. Nothing in their experience had prepared them for the failures behind this event. It was most fortunate that, without discussion, the crew went straight from inquiry to assertion in less than 10 seconds in executing the go-around. Track 23 when the approach controller detected the conflict, he instructed the Fokker 100 to immediately climb back to 5,000 feet. However, the TCAS triggered a descend RA just after the ATC instruction to climb. In compliance with the IKO regulation, the pilot followed the RA and disregarded the opposite ATC instruction. Additionally, the VFR pilot initiated a climb and made a 90-degree turn that increased the horizontal separation. As a result, the aircraft passed at 0 0.9 nautical miles and 560 feet apart. If the Fokker 100 pilot had followed the ATC instruction, it would have crossed the VFR aircraft trajectory, and the vertical distance would have been less than 300 feet. Track 24 1. 
Climb immediately. Unable. TCAS RA. Two. Reduce speed to 130 knots. Enable. Our minimum approach speed is 140 knots. Three. A report established on localizer. Unable. Our localizer is showing inoperative. Four. Increase rate of descent. Unable. We have a hydraulic failure. The flight controls are responding slowly and we are having trouble stabilizing. Five. Cross Papa Echo Charlie Alpha at 5-2. Unable. We have had an engine flame out and are in single engine operation. Our airspeed is reduced by tree zero knots. Six. Orbit right for sequencing. My first officer is incapacitated. I prefer a left circuit for greater visibility. Seven. Expect onward clearance at 3-5. We will have reached our minimum fuel at 3-0. Request priority landing. 8. Cleared ILS approach, runaway 2-8 right. We will be making a flaps-up landing and will require longest landing distance available. Track 25. 1. Has the firm carpet been deployed yet? 2. Have the firefighters arrived at the runway? 3. Has the MD-90 vacated the runway yet? 4. Have you been able to re-establish the high-intensity runway lighting? 5. Has the runway braking action been measured? 6. Has the latest weather information been uploaded? 7. Have you been able to contact our company dispatch? 8. Has the snow been cleared from runway 28 yet? 9. Have you been able to check the DME signal? 10. Has all the NAVAID software been updated? Track 26. 1. Is the passenger still threatening the cabin crew? 2. Is the fuel still leaking from the fuel manifold? 3. Are you clear of conflicting traffic? 4. Are you still experiencing severe turbulence? 5. Is the left main gear still not extended? 6. Do you still have a generator overload message? 7. Have you got the situation under control? 8. Have you still got an engine flame out? Track 27. Two aircraft level at flight level 70 are being radar vectored by the approach controller. An ATR-72 is heading 185 degrees and a Boeing 737 is in the opposite direction heading 345 degrees. A third aircraft, SW-3 level at flight level 50 is heading east. All aircraft are in IMC. Because the controller is occupied with the resolution of another conflict, the Boeing 737 is instructed, late, to descend to flight level 60. Both aircraft are at the same level and are converging quickly. The TCAS-2 of each aircraft triggers a coordinated RA a few seconds later. The ATR-72 pilot receives a descend RA that he follows. The Boeing 737 pilot receives a climb RA that he does not follow. He continues to comply with the ATC instruction. The ATR-72 pilot immediately informs the controller that he has a descend RA using the standard phraseology. However, just after, the controller repeats to the Boeing 737 the instruction to descend to flight level 60 for avoiding action. The Boeing 737 pilot descends through flight level 60. 
The opposite reaction to his climb RA induces an increased descent RA on board the ATR-72, which leads the pilot to deviate much more than initially required by TCAS-2. This large vertical deviation induces a new TCAS conflict with SW3 level at flight level 50. Track 28. 1. Malaysian 485, cleared to Sierra Bravo November, squawk 3164 with ident. Clear to Sierra Bravo November, squawking 3184, Malaysian 845. 2. Airflot 639, 7,000 feet not available due to VOR calibration in the Kungart region. Descend to 9,000 feet in 1,5 miles. Descending 9,000 feet, Airflot 639. 3. Qatari 784, you're cleared to Jeddah via Zalim and Al Birka, flight level 190. Clear to Jeddah via Zalim and Mecca. Flight level 190, Qatari 78 power. 4. Transavia 685, turn right heading 180, contact radar on 118 decimal 6. To the right heading 180, contact radar 118 decimal 8, Transavia 685. 5. Asiana Niner 62, descend to altitude 3000 feet, QNH 987 millibars, information kilo. To descend 3000 feet, QNH 997 millibars, we have checked information kilo. 6. Fine 634, traffic restrictions in the Volkov area have been extended until 1730. Roger, traffic restrictions in the Volkhov area suspended till 1730. Finnair 634. 7. Austrian 275, maintain flight level 130, omit position reports until Bucharest. Flight level 130 will omit position report at Bucharest. Austrian 275. Eight. Jordanian 359, the foam carpet begins 500 meters after the threshold. It's 15 meters wide and 700 meters long. Turn left head in 150, report established on localizer. Roger, foam carpet 700 meters from threshold. Established 150, Jordanian 359. Track 29. One. Flying in haze creates the impression that the runway is farther away, inducing a tendency to make the glide path shallower and to land long. 2. In crosswind conditions, the runway lights and environment will be angled with the aircraft heading. Flight crew should maintain the drift correction and resist the tendency to align the aircraft heading with the runway centerline. 3. Rain on the windshield creates refraction and the perception of being too high, thus inducing a nose-down correction that places the aircraft below the desired flight path. In nighttime conditions, rain increases the apparent brilliance of the approach lighting system, making the runway appear closer, inducing a pitch-down input and the risk of landing short of the runway threshold. 4. A wet runway does not reflect light, thus affecting depth perception by appearing to be farther away. This visual effect usually results in a late flare and in a firm touchdown. 5. A snow-covered terrain with clouds overcast creates a phenomenon called whiteout that eliminates perception of terrain features and height above terrain. 6. When breaking out of the overcast at both ceiling and visibility minimums, the slant visibility may not allow sight of the farther bars of the Vasi puppy, thus reducing the available clues for the visual segment in reduced visibility. Track 30. 1. Have you repaired the fault? 2. 
Have you completed the descent checklist? 3. Have you extinguished the fire? 4. Have you adjusted your rate of descent? 5. Have you reduced your speed? 6. Have you turned onto heading 310? 7. Have you cross checked your instruments? 8. Have you inserted the new data? 9. Has the first officer taken over the controls? 10. Have you turned on your landing lights? Track 31. Proceed outbound on track 098 degrees for cat A or B and on track 109 degrees for cat C, descending to 3,800 feet. At 8 miles DME, commence base turn left to establish final approach track 265 degrees. At final approach fix, descend to minimum descent altitude. To cross step down fix, power point 5 miles DME at 3,900 feet. Track 32. 1. The previous aircraft reported irregular glide slope indications during final approach. 2. Hello Nick, uh, have you got anything unusual to report? How is the traffic flow at the moment? 3. Pilots have been reporting moderate wind shear conditions during the last mile to touchdown. 4. Say again, the end of your transmission was completely garbled. 5. There will be a television camera crew here making a documentary for the next couple of hours. Try not to pay attention to them. 6. No aircraft is to fly within an area bounded by circle radius 6 nautical miles. Centered at 52 degrees, 66 minutes, 53 seconds north, 4 degrees, 33 minutes, 34 seconds west. Except aircraft flying with permission of Coast Guards. 7. Speedbird 987, descend to 3,000 feet. Speedbird 897, turn right heading 230. 8. Delays are half an hour at the moment, but increasing. Track 33. 1. Report runway in sight. 2. Confirm gear down unlocked. 3. Clear to land. 4. QNH 1015, number 3 in traffic. 5. This is a right hand circuit for runway 26. 6. When established on localizer, descend on glide path QNH 1009. 7. Have you restarted the engine? 8. An incoming B767 reported wind shear at 800 feet, airspeed loss 20 knots. 9. Cleared straight in, ILS approach runway 09, descend to altitude 3000 feet, QNH 1003. 10. There are ice patches on runway 21, and braking action is medium. Track 34, Part 1 The VOR radial signal starts fluctuating during the final approach and the information finally disappears around 1,200 feet above ground level. It is quite dark outside. Without the VOR and in the absence of visual cues, what would be your next move? Part 2 In the absence of any adequate visual cues and without the VOR, you decide to go around and to follow the standard missed approach procedure. While in the hold after go around, ATC confirms the VOR DME is functioning correctly as far as they know. Following that confirmation, 
you decide to perform a navigation accuracy check. All indications are consistent except the automatic direction finder. The FMS shows you are on course. Only the non-directional beacon, NDB, shows you off track, conflicting with the FMS and the VOR. The navigation display, ND, indicates there is a severe thunderstorm to your left. Based on the data you have, which position information would you trust? The VOR, FMS or the ADF? Part 3 You consider the ADF indications on the ND as inconsistent with the rest of the data provided by the VOR, DME and EGPWS and you decide to fly a second approach. Again, the VOR information is fluctuating. When the aeroplane is more than 6 miles from the runway, the radio altimeter automatic callout suddenly announces 1,000 feet, followed shortly by this auto alert, 400 feet. You are surprised by these two alerts, which occur much too early, and then you lose the VOR signal again. Based upon those callouts and without the VOR signal, what would your next move be? Part 4 you immediately decide to abort the approach again and to divert to the alternate airport. As the go-around is initiated, the EGPWS, too low terrain, alert sounds. What would your response to this warning be? Part 5 Since you are already going around, you disregard the message and continue the flight to the alternate airport, where you land uneventfully with a normal VOR DME approach. When returning to the original airport the day after, you perform a VOR DME approach in daylight, VMC. You notice an error in the VOR signal of 30 degrees because of the visual reference available. What action would you perform to inform the local authorities? Part 6 You decide to fill out an air safety report. Track 35 1. Climb to 5,000 feet immediately. 2. We have an armed man on board. 3. Turn left heading 230 degrees. 4. We are unable to climb at this time. 5. RVR has decreased to 350 meters and the ceiling is at 300 feet. 6. There seems to be a vehicle crossing the active runway. 7. We are not sure that our nose gear has extended correctly. 8. There have been several reports of wind shear half a mile from touchdown. 9. Go around. I say go around. Traffic at 3 for right. 10. We have a severely concussed passenger on board and need to divert. Track 36 1. There are two men walking on the taxiway. 2. We will be flying against a strong headwind on the way back. 3. Can you watch the screen a moment? 4. I'm not sure when we'll be ready. 5. The runway is still very wet. Braking action is only medium. 6. We had a Pan Pan call from Air Slovakia at 1415. 7. The mist is clearing quite quickly. 8. We need the frequency to be quiet in an emergency. 9. There is an old Fokker friendship ahead of us on final. 10. What's the height of the factory chimney to the left of the flight path? 11. We have enough fuel to divert to Anchorage. Thanks a lot for recalculating it. 12. We are just past Port Moresby, heading 290 degrees at flight level 180. Track 37 1. 
working, walking. Two, again, against. Three, watch, wash. Four, wheel, well. Five, wet, wait. Six, has, had. Seven, clearing, cleaning. Eight, quiet, quite. Nine, hold, old. Ten, high, height. Eleven, Thanks, thanks. Twelve, fast, past. Track 38. One. The braking action on the runway in use is good. Two. I am returning to land. Three. We have a full flight. Four. We expect to be crossing Bratislava soon. Five. We have a large fuel reserve. Six. We have a problem in the flight deck. Seven. We were told to expect delays. Eight. Expect delaying action in 20 miles. Nine. Reduce your speed now. 10. Expect higher in 1-5 miles. 11. One of the runways is closed. 12. Your ETA has been changed. 13. Someone will meet your sick passenger at the gate. 14. We need more time to prepare our descent. 15. We have lost some of our automation. Track 39. 1. We have just encountered a very severe hailstorm descending through 9 or 1,000 feet. The first officer's visibility is very restricted and will need to reduce speed. 2. I am no longer able to distinguish Lufthansa 3472, Air China 2895 and Adria 385 on my screen. They're too close together. 3. Your last message was garbled and I have the impression that there was another transmission interfering. Pass your message again. 4. If you need to dump 10 tons of fuel, I'll give you vectors to fly over the forest. 5. Are you unable to dim the lights? They are causing a lot of glare. 6. I just can't transmit any longer on 11A decimal 50 and I'm no longer receiving any transmissions apart from a low whistling sound. 7. Be advised that our landing speed will be high and that we'll be taking up more of the runway. 8. Pan, 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 pan. Dallas Control, Delta 817. We will need to make a precautionary landing. Track 40. 1. Belarus Avia 4907 cleared to enter standard holding pattern over Manchester flight level 070. Expect up to 40 minutes delay due deteriorating weather conditions. 2. Copa 5712, all traffic diverted to San Salvador. The runway is closed after a runway excursion and recovery work is in process. 3. China Eastern 4558, clear for an IOS approach, runway 08 left. 4. Iberia 3095, be advised that the localizer is not available due scheduled maintenance. 5. 
Kuwaiti 5906 cleared for a circling approach to capture the ILS to runway 16 left. 6. Varig 221 cleared to enter standard holding pattern over Madrid. Flight level 090. Expect approximately 30 minutes delay due heavy traffic. Track 41. Etihad 339 heavy, Abu Dhabi Tower, runway 19 left, clear to land. Clear to land 19 left, Etihad 339 heavy. Winds 170 degrees at 3 knots. Copy 1703. I've got the right engine shut down and everything appears to be okay from the inside here. When we've come to a standstill, we'd appreciate it if you could take a look at the right hand engine. We have the request and we are planning on that. Thank you. It had 339 heavy. Your right engine is still on fire. Thank you. We're going to stop once we've vacated the runway and hold. If they could please put it out. The fire service is on the runway now. Tower, Etihad 339, are you with me? Etihad 339 heavy, go ahead. Is the fire service on the same frequency? They're on ground frequency. Okay, what is that? Contact them on 121 decimal 75. Okay, Etihad 339 here. Fire service, are you there? I'm here, go ahead. How does that engine look? We're putting foam on it now. It appears like it was in the tailpipe, but I'm going to spray the whole engine. Okay, no need to evacuate the passengers, is that correct? Negative, not at this time. Uh, give me a minute or two. Uh, confirm you have that engine shut down? Yes, it's shut down. It's been off for a little while. The number one engine is still running. I understand that. Hopefully you can turn it down to just a slow speed. It's at idle. We're having a hard time putting this out. Have you fired your bottle? Both bottles have been discharged. How does it look? It looks like we're almost there. We're just going to make a mess out here. Well, that's okay. 